so we've made pretty good progress on the RSX. Um, rear seats, carpet, door panels, radio. All that's left is the steering wheel and uh, this here, which is what the focus is on today. Um, when I got the car, <coughs> had a lot of issues with the kind of peeling and the paint. Um, and this is just one of those other aspects of it. Um, you could see here, like, you can barely see anything out of it. And the edges are starting to peel from the rear view mirror itself. Um, so today we're going to remove it and then see what we can do to restore it. And I'll show you guys what that looks like. So to remove the rear view mirror, um, the first thing you need to do is remove this plastic piece here, right, sitting on the headliner. And so what you wanna do is just kind of push it back, kind of like in the direction of the back windshield. Um, and once you get it out, it just kind of falls right out, kind of like you're pushing it through these hinges or this kind of like piece here. So it has enough opening to kind of slide out. Um, the only other thing you need to do is um, it's connected by these three screws here. So just take a, a screwdriver and just kind of back those out. All right, so it just falls right out of the place after you take out the third screw. And um, everything is fine, except this little piece, mirror piece here. So um, let's go into um, the house, sit on a table, and just kind of take a look at how this thing's constructed. All right, so um, rear view mirror is, um, is off the car, as you can see. But I've been looking at it, and it doesn't seem like there's any, like, any particular seam to like pull it out. There is this kind of little line here, but it looks like it's it's kind of glued in. It might be a much of a risk to um, take it apart, but you can see here like there's like a piece of glass on top and then below the glass, this is kind of the mirror itself and it's all like screwed up. Um, I guess I could try to like pry it out, but um, the other solution which I have is this here. Um, it, it's the spoon um, blue wide rear view mirror. Um, the the spoon blue mirrors are supposed to have a wider viewing angle, um, so that's why I picked it up. This it might be a good candidate to just kind of like put it right on top. Um, I think that's what this is intended to do. I think some people take the side mirrors, pop up the existing one, and then put the new one in with like caulk and tape. But um, this here what I've seen is primarily for just kind of putting it right on top of the existing mirror. Um, and so that's why this might actually be a good solution to do that. Um, so I'm gonna open it up uh, so we can take a look and kind of see how it works. Um, so took it out of the box and it comes in this nice, strong, cushiony foam. And you can see the reflection of the phone, but this is it here. Um, looks really nice. It's a thin mirror and it has already 3M tape on top of it. The front has spoon on it and it looks like it fits perfectly in place. Um, so that might be a, a solution to do. It is kind of thick. And so it looks like it's gonna pop out um, so I'm going to see if I can still take this out, but if I can't, then the only solution is just to stick it right on top. All right, and we're back and we're going to install the spoon mirror today. Um, it didn't look like we could actually take this section out. So we're just going to install the spoon mirror just right on top of the existing mirror. As I mentioned before, like there's like a little clear glass plate right underneath the mirror and this is just a good candidate for one of these things because it's all peeling across the sides and can't do nothing about it. So um, that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna um, 
take out the spoon mirror and just install it right on top. Um, just so everyone can see, the spoon mirror, um, it's really nice actually, um, but yeah, it's really fragile. So you can notice here it's, it's curved and the 3M tape that they give us, a 3M, it's the middle's really thick and the sides are really thin. However, because the plate is curved and that's kind of why they did it. Um, I made the mistake of like breaking this the first time, so I picked up another um, because um, I tried to press it flat with the glass and it just didn't work. So don't do what I did and just kind of install it as is because that's pretty much what you have to work with. Um, but overall, the spoon's mirror is really nice um, and we're going to install it right now. So. And all we do is just, just kind of line it up. Um, so it's right on top now. I'm just gonna press it down. Try not to get my, my fingers too much on it. So we're gonna press the side with this foam cushion. And there it is, that's the install. You can see me through the reflection, but that's the difference. Like I tried to like clear this gap before, um, but that's just how it's made. And so that's what you have to kind of work with, but you're not really gonna notice when you're looking at it from a distance when it's installed. But uh, for me, I like, I tried to push it down and I broke the mirror. So don't do that. Um, just install it with the 3M tape and that's pretty much what you have, but it looks great here. Um, and I'll show you guys what that looks like in the install, but that's pretty much how you mount the spoon plate to an existing RSX one. And, um, this is actually better because mine was broken or mine was faded and this is just gonna work great. I really like the spoon logo on this corner here. And so, yeah, pretty excited about this, um, this piece being installed, so more to come on that. So we're about ready to reinstall the rear view mirror. And so um, here it is with the spoon. And all we have to do is just put the bolts back. So it's a pretty simple process. Uh, the screws have been kind of tightened into it. And so we have the spoon mirror installed. The last thing is pretty simple. We just kind of reinstall the plastic kind of cover back on and just push it forward. And that's pretty much it. So we've installed the rear view mirror. Um, the back is a lot clearer. Obviously we still need to tint the backs, but um, it's pretty much complete. There's no more of that. We're covering the, the kind of old mirror. So it's, it's a complete, and pretty flawless kind of mirror now we don't have to look at the old stuff so pretty happy with it um and if you're looking to do this for your car i think it'll add a a nice dimension to it the blue the spoon blue mirror is much wider so you can you can see a lot more obviously the objects are smaller but um i think the clarity and just kind of the visibility makes a huge difference as well